All right, for this pro tip, I want to show you how to create dynamic workbook links using the hyperlink function. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use hyperlink to connect users straight to specific workbook or worksheet locations. Now, if you're following along with the course, this should sound very, very familiar because that's exactly what I've done in the table of contents tab in the pro tip workbook. You'll see a formula like this, which is driven by that hyperlink function. And that will point you straight to cell A1 for a given tab, in this case, the go to options tab. Now, in theory, this is pretty straightforward, but you'll notice that it's a four star tip. So it's on the advanced end of the scale. And the only reason why I've labeled it as an advanced tip is because syntax is extremely specific and pretty inflexible. So I've included an example here, hyperlink sheet one cell A1 with a link name label. And notice all of those special characters in there, the quotation marks, the single quotes, the hash mark, the exclamation point, all of those symbols are critical. And if you don't have them all in the exact place, this function won't work. So really more than anything, getting hyperlink to work is, is more a matter of attention to detail uh, than anything else. Um, and one thing to note here, um, you can type in an actual sheet reference, uh, like the example in this bullet, or you can replace that with a cell reference like I've done in the table of contents sheet. Uh, when you do that, it makes things a little bit trickier because you essentially need to reverse engineer the exact syntax using concatenate functions to actually plug in that hash exclamation point and quotation marks. So the use cases here, um, for one, adding tools to help users navigate larger complex workbooks, like for example, a pro tip workbook that has about 100 tabs of information in it. Um, and two, this is one that I actually do quite a bit, uh, creating reports that have links to additional details or data sources. So maybe you've provided a report for a client that's you know, a top line summary view. You can add a link that maybe can drill down uh, to a much more detailed sheet if the user wants to access that level of detail. Really helpful tool in those types of cases. So let's go ahead and build our own hyperlink in the pro tip workbook. All right, so appropriately enough, here we are in our table of contents sheet which just so happens to include dozens and dozens of examples of this hyperlink demo that we're about to practice. In this case, let's actually go to the dynamic workbook links demo right here in our formula tips. And you guessed it, we're going to hyperlink out <laughs> straight to that tab. And what we have here is like a little mini version of that table of contents that we're going to practice building out ourselves. So the idea is going to be to populate column H with the links based on these workbook names or worksheet names in column B. But before we try to get all crazy and advanced right from step one, let's try just writing a simple, kind of more basic hyperlink function uh, for a nearby tab. So counting words is close by, let's work with that one first. So we can try just typing equals hyperlink, link location is gonna be counting words, cell A1, and comma over to the next argument, which is the friendly name, like link, close the quote, close the parenthesis, press enter. Things look good, right? If we just select that cell, we're hyperlinking to the counting word sheet, specifically cell A1, and we've labeled it link, and it's created a link for us. Problem is when we click it, we get this cannot open the specified file error. And basically what we need to tell Excel is, hey, Excel, we're not trying to open a separate file. We're trying to just access one of our sheets or tabs within this file. So to tell Excel that's what we want, we need to add some characters here. And right after that open paren, we're going to add a double quote followed by a hash mark. And then at the end, right after the cell reference A1, we're going to close out another double quote and then press enter. And check this out. Now when we click link, Boom, A1 counting word sheet, it's worked perfectly. So adding that quotation mark to surround the sheet reference, as well as that hash mark has told Excel, we're actually trying to navigate to a worksheet location within this file. So let's jump back 
to our dynamic workbook links sheet. And we could follow the same approach and do it, you know, 15 more times to populate the rest of these links. But obviously that's a little bit slow. It's a little bit manual. And if you needed to populate several hundred links, that's really not a feasible option. And because we've got our worksheet names here in column B, we should be able to simply reference those names as part of our hyperlink function. But here's the catch. If we simply try to replace that sheet reference here with a cell reference like B11, and pressed OK, we'd link just straight to that cell location within the current sheet. Excel's not reading it as the name of a tab. So what we're going to need to do is get a little bit clever, a little crafty with concatenate functions to force the syntax that we need. So pay attention, put on your bifocals, let's get nice and zoomed in here because we're about to get pretty detailed with this syntax. I'm going to delete what we had and we're going to start with a clean canvas, open parenthesis, follow me closely here, double quote, hash mark, single quote. So this looks familiar so far. Here's where it gets a little bit weird. We're going to add another double quote, an ampersand. Oops, that's a dollar sign. An ampersand. We're going to reference the cell that we want, B11. Add another ampersand. Close the double quote off. Add another single quote, an exclamation point, and then the cell reference that we want. So if we want to drop people off at cell A1, which makes sense, we could type in A1 here and then close off one more double quotation mark, comma over, add our friendly name or label, like link in quotes, close the parenthesis and press enter. Now, I'm gonna hover over this again so you can pause your screen, make sure you've got all of those individual characters in place. Here's the thing, I would add spaces for you to make it a little bit more readable, but even that would break the function. So. Very, very fragile syntax, and that's why this is a four-star tip. But now let's give that a shot, right? Click link. Boom, cell A1 in the counting words tab. Now here's the moment of truth, right? Let's go back and simply grab this and drag it to a few more. So dependent dropdowns, click link. There we are, dependent dropdown, cell A1. Dynamic workbook links, that's the cell we're currently in. Boom, cell A1 index and match a1 working perfectly so now we've essentially just automated the process of having to create all of those links one by one and now like any other formula you can just click and drag and apply it to every other place and let the references change to drive users based on the workbook sheets in column b so that just about does it good way to use the hyperlink function to drive users to specific worksheet locations in your Excel file.